Hey everybody, happy hump day. Thank you, Lord, for another day of life. This is Intuitive Queen Char. Let me turn this, make sure y'all can see the cards I'm gonna pull. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm I'm feeling like myself again. Only about two percent of this cold is left. Um child. I'm not gonna call out the grocery store's name, but I brought some chicken salad. And I took it for lunch yesterday from the grocery store right near me. Honey, it was not, it was not, it was not good. It was, I tasted something that sound that tasted a little bit off. And I paid for it in the middle of the night last night. My poor stomach, it, it went to town. So, um, yeah, you got to be careful about that. That's why I, I cook all my own food at home. I didn't have anything thawed out. I was in the store the night before I got some chicken salad and, uh, I had it before, um, no problem. But yesterday it just wasn't right. And your stomach going to let you know, your body going to let you know it's going to reject it. Okay. Now I usually get, um, when I do buy chicken salad, I just eat mine plain. I don't do bread or rolls or anything. Cause y'all know I'm doing the low carb lifestyle. I get rotisserie chicken salad every now and then from giant. Because I don't do well with mayonnaise at all. I don't even like mayonnaise. So I cut it with mustard and add some black pepper to it and make it a little tangy. But just straight. It could have been the mayonnaise in the chicken salad. I didn't put the mustard in there yesterday. And maybe that's what did it. Egg yolks and mayonnaise are my worst enemies as far as being able to digest them. Don't ask me why I grew up on whole eggs and mayonnaise. My mother used to make us mayonnaise sandwiches sometimes in the summertime. Okay? All right, y'all, I'm going to do a no communication reading, um, but I just heard in my head, I just heard to be continued, to be continued, to be continued. There's somebody you're still not communicating with, somebody you're still in separation with, but it ain't over yet. To be continued, that's up to God. That's where Queen Shark cuts off at it. I have no ETA. All I can tell you is that reconciliation is still going to definitely happen. I'm just hearing September. It could be September. You're going to have to make it through the summer. I want you to get out, get cute, go out, handsome, sexy. Go out this summer. Go to the aquarium. Go to the, the wharf. Get some fresh fish. Grill it. Meet some men down by the docks. Meet some ladies down there. Get you some crabs. Get out and socialize. You ain't going to find nobody. I said this before. You're not going to find anybody sitting in the house. And I'm not a personal fan of online dating. I like to see my man up close and impersonal. I, I, I like to see them and I want them to see me. But to each his own. Some people have had great results with online dating. I watch too many of them uh, for my man and 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 and. Fatal attraction shows, you know, you ain't putting me in the trunk of your car saying you love me and then I fall in love with you and you, you get an insurance policy on me and put me in the trunk of the car. Oh, hey, first of all, if you can get the hood over my booty in the trunk, then you, you know, take me in the forest because that ain't going to happen. I know I sticks up and out. Yes, I do. <laughs> all right, y'all, I'm going to jump right into it because I got some stuff to do on my day off today. Um, I wrote up a few cards. And if any of these cards resonate with you, if any of these cards resonate with you, it is a strong possibility that to be continued is what your person is saying. Oh, this is going to be continued. It ain't over yet, okay? Uh, hey, I'm not on here doing false hope. I don't do fantasies. I don't do delusions. I'm quick to, to that's a waste of time because it ain't going to happen. I'm not on here to make nobody feel good about something that's not going to happen. Okay? Bottom line, it ain't. All right. If you belong to either AARP or the AAA, uh, you know, like tow company, AARP and AAA. Okay? All right. I see Capricorn, Gemini. Somebody collects coins and the following numbers may resonate. 11. 24, 8, 7, and 59. So we have Capricorn, 11, 24, 8, 7, 59, Gemini, and Coin Collector. <laughs> I 
All right. The names Barry, Ashley. I just heard Priscilla and also Phyllis. Barry, Ashley. I heard Priscilla and Phyllis. Okay. Somebody sings in the church choir. I see Burgundy Robe, White Collar. Burgundy Robe, White Collar, you sing in the church choir. You could have a Y in your name. I just heard Cecilia. Okay, uh, somebody received a facial or a massage recently, especially within the past 14 days. This is specific. If you're in separation with somebody and you received a massage or a facial in the past two weeks, it's a strong possibility that this relationship is to be continued. How about Hughes, Elizabeth, and Arthur? Not my baby, but an actual male man with two legs, not four, named Arthur. Hughes, Arthur, and Elizabeth. Okay, I just heard flavor. I, I don't know what that means, flavor, 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 okay? Um, your favorite color is red and the name Howard. Your favorite color is red. You can wear red every day if it was your uh, dream. <laughs> or maybe you do and the name Howard. Okay, I heard Tiffany again. That, num that name comes up a lot. Deanna also. Okay, somebody's an Aries, a Scorpio, and a Libra. Strong Aries today. Strong Aries. Maybe because it's Aries season. Aries, Scorpio, and Libra. Men, Libra, females, we struggle to get along. Insecure as hell. I worked with one on the workplace before. That biatch stabbed me in the back. I'm, I'm telling y'all, I have worked with 99% men for the past 30 years. I don't have no problems, except for some of them being too lustful, and I got to check their ass. But the women... They come in looking me up and down. Oh, she thinks she cute. No, Biatch, you think I think I'm cute. I'm coming here every day to make my paycheck, to pay my bills, because I'm out here by myself. Just because I don't come in here looking like you don't mean I'm not about my job, and it doesn't mean I think I'm cute. That's your insecurity. But me and Libra females, some of them, the ones I've dealt with, I have one friend that she's cool as a fan, but... Hmm, Two of them, they can kiss my whole entire butt. Insecure, got everything going for them. And they're going to find something wrong with Queen Shark. If y'all one of my Libra females, this is not you all. This is actual ladies, women, chicks, broads that I've worked with who have been insecure and jealous and have tried to dog me out at work. Karma got them, though. I saw that. <laughs> all right, the last name. I'm sorry, the first middle... First her middle name is Antoine. Antoine and somebody's married and they like you. I can write a book on that. Married and unhappy and they like you. They want the best. They want to have home and they want you too because you gorgeous, sweet, smart, fine, got a good job, got good credit, got everything going for you. But they hold it on to old Hilda at home, old Hilda witch, Hilda broomstick because they've been there a long time and they're comfortable. And what would people say if they left old Hilda? And then they met you. And now they want you. They don't want you with nobody else, but they go home to somebody every day. Give me an effing break. That's 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 going to be another, uh, uh, I was going to say show, because I have a podcast. That's going to be another reading right there. You can't have your cake and eat it too. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Hmm. All right. Uh, Lee, L-E-E, -E, Elaine, and Brittany. Lee, Elaine, and Brittany. Okay. I just heard Tasha again. All right. Teresa, Peter, and somebody walks with a limp. I just heard Mario. Teresa, Peter, and somebody walks with a limp, possibly a crutch, a cane, but definitely a limp. And I heard the name Mario, M-A-R-I-O. Somebody is a pharmacist. The name Yolanda, they could call you Yo-Yo, and first, middle, last name Clark. Kia, these are lady names, ladies' names, Kia, Layla, 
and somebody's from North Carolina, which I'm sure a lot of you all are, but for this reading, somebody's from North Carolina, your name could be Kia or Layla. I just heard Fernando again. I know who that is, uh, but it's, I think, I think it is this one, but I'm not sure. Okay, Eugene, heavy Eugene today. Heavy, 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 heavy Eugene. <laughs> Thank you, Eugene, for the confirmation. Dale and Antonio for the second time. That was another. Thank you. Another strong confirmation. Another Antonio. That was a strong energy this morning. Eugene and Dale. Somebody knows someone you call Big John, Fat John, or Phil or Philip. Big John, Fat John, Phil or Philip. John wears Tim's a lot. Timberland boots, baggy jeans. He, he still wear baggy jeans. He think he Biggie Smalls. Nice dude, though. Nice dude. I see a nice gold chain. Big, big, big sexy teddy bear. Big smelling good, fine, pretty teeth. Big sexy John, fat John, fine, fat John. Shit. <laughs> and the last one, I heard Dorothy. Uh, Donna Patrick. And T or TT, T or TT, Donna Patrick, T or TT. I'm only going to pull a couple of cards from No Communication. This is going to confirm these cards right here. I hope everybody's doing wonderful. I just heard Linda, and it could be L-Y-N-D-A. Okay, this is the Dex. It's hard to read for me because it's scribbly. All right, let's see. I'm just going to pull a couple of these from No Communication. They're going to confirm that this relationship is to be continued. Hold on, y'all. Wow, these are trying to fall out. Ooh. You know what? Let me do a good shuffle first. Duh. I get the... Y'all, I'm still trying to figure out who sent my twin that damn message. I, 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 until the day I leave this earth, I will never know. I know it was spiritual, but I'm saying, how? Oh, my goodness. That's strong. When your phone start talking to your twin, I ain't touched that phone in two hours. Like, who is he talking to? Hmm. No app on my phone to auto reply. Nothing. Somebody's person think there is no chance. Maybe we're better off separated. I'm picking up heavy Aries energy. Somebody's giving up. Somebody's giving up. So much time has passed. They have not reached out to you. There's been no communication. And you've done well. You've gone on about your life. And they think maybe we're better off separated. That was the first card I saw on top. And guess what? It is what it is. Everybody's not meant to be together. I just keep thinking back to the men I thought I could not live without before, y'all. I've been in love so many times, four, five, six, seven times. I don't remember them guys' last names. I'm so serious. You will get over it. Trust your big sister when she tells you. You will get over this person who's not communicating, who was a fraud, who was a fake, who was a phony, who whispers sweet nothings in your ear, you will get over them and your real person's coming. God not going to leave you all here by yourself. That person was a lesson for you. And the car horn outside was confirmation, y'all. That, that vendor keeps messaging me about my deck. I don't even know if you all are still interested in me making one. Because I got a zillion cards I created on my own. Oh, something fell on the floor. I'm not going to worry about that one. I mean, I could use those, but I don't even know if anybody's still interested or not. Okay. Um, I'm in love with you. Oh, wow. I... I... I am so in love with you. I don't have my glasses, y'all. Bear with me. I'm so in love with you. You're so perfect to me. I know this is for me. 
And this is the person who's saying this is to be continued. This falls in line with this reading. They're so in love with you. You're so perfect to them. I know this is mine. And I'm sharing it with you all who are due for reconciliation, okay? To be continued. I hope the future will bring us together. Yep, to be continued. To be continued. What did I just say? I'm a bad man pajama. When I feel stuff, it is what it is. I hope the future will bring us together. Like I said, I heard to be continued. This, you had a bump. You had a separation. You had a, a breakup. It doesn't mean it's the end. If God means for y'all to be together, you're going to be together. That's and, th and that's it. Ain't nothing else to talk about. Don't you worry about no karmic. Don't you worry about messy family members. Don't worry about jealous friends. When God stamped his approval on something, it's the, who going to unstamp it? And he created out all of us in the world. Child, please. That, that Y'all might as well get y'all sexy lingerie and your men's cologne because you and that person, if it's meant to be, by September. I keep hearing from some people by September. You will be back in each other's arms. Okay? Oh, they say you are so beautiful inside and out. To be continued. To be continued. I'm getting giddy about this. I'll be so glad when y'all get back with y'all person. Let me tell you something. All of us have dated several people before. Been in relationships, been married, been divorced, but ain't nothing like finding the one you're supposed to be with. Uh, let me tell you this. I have had probably 20 relationships. Even my own husband. I have never felt in my whole 58 years this bond, strong, telepathy. I feel what you feel. You make me gush. You piss me off. A tug of war. I would fight somebody for you. The way I feel about my soul twin. It does not mean we're going to get married. It does not mean we're going to end up living together. It does not mean we're going to be fully committed with each other for the rest of our lives. But I have identified who my past love is. Who followed me over into this life. I followed him and we met. And that's why we're so familiar with each other. He said, what's wrong? I can tell when something's wrong. Psh, don't, don't get me started. Oh. We'll do two more, y'all. Okay. I'm not properly dressed, ladies and gentlemen, so I didn't come up. Oh, wow. Let me see what these going to say. Okay, this is going to be the reading. I'm going to wrap it up with these cards. Did this one already fall on? Is it? Okay. Oh, I hate this distance between us. Oh, it doesn't feel good. They don't like being apart from you anymore. At first it was like, forget them. Okay, they ain't going to call me. I ain't going to call them. But now the distance doesn't feel good. It's uncomfortable because that's your person. For those who are set for reconciliation. For those who are no com communication with your person. For those whose person energy told me this morning as I was muting the Maury show, this is to be continued. Okay. The thought of you drives me crazy. They think you sexy as heck. They like you because you're intelligent. Y'all are intelligent. Let me tell you something. Sexy and big booties and big ding-dings, all that's cute for a minute. But what are we going to talk about after all we, we do the big thing and you get your big O and I get my big O? What are we going to talk about? I love intelligence. I told y'all, the one that started me saying Viterol and he couldn't understand why the the football game wasn't on during Diane, Princess Diana's wedding. I'm sorry, God forbid. I'm sorry I said that. Her funeral. Rest in peace, Princess Diana. I couldn't get down with him because he was not smart. He was... He was not smart. I love intelligent men. You ain't got to be like Einstein, but at least know how to hold a conversation with me. Okay. 
Okay, other people, <laughs> other people were interfering and trying. Confirmation. Hold on, let me read this, y'all. Other people were interfering and trying to control me. This is that damn karmic. This is that cockeyed, funny-looking, funny-smelling, mean, about-to-meet-her-fate karmic. His or her. Pe heavy female energy. Heavy female energy. I'm not going to talk about the toe-tag dream that I had about some of these karmics laying still on a silver table. Some things you don't do. You don't wish death and harm on chosen people. You 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 just signed your own death certificate, Miss Smartass. You think you know everything, don't you? And for the gentlemen who go down the country and ask their Uncle Ben, I like this girl, but she don't like me. What I'm supposed to do? Uncle Ben then 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 sent you to the to the to the to the hospital, sir. Keep on playing around. Okay. Um Oh, and this is some of you. I'm moving on with my life. Make sure I read it right. I'm moving on with my life. Some of y'all are done. You don't care about the to be continued. They did too much. They haven't contacted you in four or five years. And if they call you, you were like, I've already, not only am I moving on with my life, but I've already moved on with my life. And that's fine too. You can't take a five year break from me and think we just going to go go act like it never happened. Last two cards. Um, I fell in love. The instant I saw you, this, this is soul right here. This person recognized who you were from another life. And if y'all don't believe in past lives, I'm going to do a whole reading about that. It's going to shock you. You think you just like your mother and father had relations and, and here you come. You was a whole soul before that. <laughs> okay. But they recognize you. They loved you. The instant they saw you, they recognize you. Souls recognize each other. And the last card says, please don't hate me um, for ghosting you. You didn't deserve it. And you didn't. They don't want you to hate them for, for ghosting you. You didn't deserve it. A lot of interference, a lot of karmic, a lot of hocus pocus, a lot of people in their ear. You didn't deserve that. Okay? All right, y'all. I love you all to the moon and back. I really appreciate everybody. Um, my readings are $25. The cheapest you'll ever find in this lifetime. And the thing is, they're accurate. I'm not just telling you, oh, the sky is blue today. Oh, if you were born in January, you must be a Capricorn. You must be an Aquarius. I look at y'all pictures when you send them, and I go into deep, deep, in-depth readings, okay? So they're $25 for three questions. Dream interpretations are 10. Send me an email at intuitivequeenshar at gmail.com. I just heard Gail, G-A-Y-L-E, Green, G-R-E-E-N, Joyce, J-O-Y-C-E, um, Turner, last name could be Turner. Like Ike Turner and Tina Turner. Okay, somebody's from Nigeria. Light-skinned female from Nigeria. Okay, Charles. Last name could start with an O. Okay. All right, y'all, I got some runs to make. I love you all. Take care. God bless you.